question 19 gives us this quadratic equation and then asks us for a true statement about the graph of the equation. Because this is a quadratic equation, we know for sure that the graph is a parabola. However, the presentation of this equation does not resemble the standard form of a parabola, which is typically given as ax squared plus bx plus c. Instead, we're given what's called vertex form, which is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. There are a few things to know about vertex form. Firstly, the positivity or negativity of a tells you whether the parabola opens upward or downward. Secondly, the vertex of the parabola is always located at h comma k. We can see that a here is negative one. And that tells us that this parabola opens downward. So it looks something like this. Because the parabola opens downward, we know that it does not have a minimum. However, the vertex is the maximum. This means we can eliminate answer choices A and B. The next thing is to recognize that the subtraction is part of the formula here. So even though we've got minus three, it means that the value of h is positive three. The value of k is a. So according to the vertex form of a parabola, this vertex should be located at three comma a, which is answer choice D. Another way of solving this problem, if you're not familiar with vertex form, would be to pick a number for A and graph this in your calculator. When you can see the graph of the parabola in your calculator, you can then evaluate the answer choices one by one, determining whether there's a minimum or a maximum and whether it's at three comma A or negative three comma A.